I'm continuing with session four. I'll be working primarily on the sea oats. Um, I will be giving them um, different colors, um, highlights, and some more shadows. And I hope to get quite a bit done today. So I'm going to fast forward what I'm doing, but please feel free to write questions if you have them. And I'll be glad to explain um, if it's something I can't explain. But I've been talking about this in all of the sessions, so this is just more of the same. And I'm fairly satisfied with all my highlight work in the sands. And I will be able to come back over this after the sea oats are painted and dried to do the finishing touches. So, um, just bear with me here, and I'm going on with, with my painting. I'm using my extra long liner brush, um, made by Princeton Art and Brush Company, and not getting any kickback for this, though I should, um, but I'm using that, and I'm using a mixture of sap green, a uh, touch of cadmium red medium to gray down uh, paint. Then I'm doing some greens that have more cadmium red medium, which also kind of creates a brown. And that's going to be, uh, for the most part, in the bases of the sea oats. And then I'm I'm highlighting the sea oats with the addition of some white and usually when you add white you should always add just the slightest touch of yellow to keep it from being too pasty looking so I'm going to be about my business now and um, I'll be back to talk later
In this part of the session, I'm going to be changing to some lighter colors to highlight the sea oats, and um, I'll be adding some other colors as I go along, just depending on what strikes my fancy. But I wanted to show you my palette. Um, just put out some fresh paints. I'm mixing my green today from cobalt blue and some cadmium yellow uh, medium and, and a little bit of light and white. Now you have to be careful with white that you don't get too pasty but this is the color that I'm satisfied with. I'm using my uh, extra long fine liner brush for these strokes but I'll continue to work and um, I will speed the film up somewhat. Um, I don't want anybody to get bored. And of course you have that nice little fast forward button. I have changed my brush and um, this is a shader brush it's called it's a number six it's a white bristle brush mine happens to be old and it's being old means there's a lot of paint that has accumulated in the ferrule here this is the ferrule and what that does is cause the the bristles to spread out and it gives me a a better opportunity to do some little um, dotty kind of strokes so that's where I'm going to go right now with this and I have discovered that my my brush comes apart so in the interest of time I'm just going to hold on to the tip here and I have mixed up some brown by mixing some of my cobalt blue and my cadmium red medium which is a kind of orange medium uh, excuse me orange um, red so this is the color that I've come up with which is very much the same as this um, burnt sienna so if you don't have burnt sienna that's another option for you but what I'm going to do with this color basically is just um, add some more uh, trails of actually they're vines and in the springtime they're apt to have flowers on them but this just gives a little bit more interest and um, fills in my composition a little bit and I can actually come up that was a nice stroke right there. I hope you can see that. Um, but it will do some nice little strokes for me along the way. And if you ever look at someone's painting that has a lot of these um, strokes in it, 
um, and you think to yourself, my goodness, how about that was time consuming. Um, let me just remind you that, yes, it is time consuming. Um, brushes like this do help, but there are still probably hundreds of individual strokes in this painting already, and I'm not finished yet. Okay, I'm going to go just a little bit darker with this. That was a tad too dark, but I do need to darken some of those areas. And actually, I think I told you this was cadmium red medium, but it's not. It's the cadmium red light, which I just finally located and put on my palette. I'm still debating on how much information I want to put in here. Um, I am going to do a little um, spattering right in this area. But I might decide I don't like it and then take it off. Now what you have to do some people use a toothbrush. I think this brush that I was using already would probably work since it is so spattered, but you can try it out, and I would advise you to try it out on your palette before you go spattering anything. And those little spatters went all the way up here. And I thought I was holding them close enough that that would not happen. I'm letting my bristles grow, um, excuse me, letting them go. Slowly. At this point, I can wipe these off. I don't want them. And of course, because I have wet paint in this area, can't very well 
wipe it off without wiping my little viney things off. So I might have to come back and do those again. And I have also noticed that there is um, there's really too much yellow in this white. So I'm going to take a clean brush, a soft white bristle brush, and go back over that area with some straight white. So I really want this to be subtle. And I might actually go over some of this. can go up in here. Now this is the point at which I can get in trouble. Just using pure white paint. But I'm not touching very firmly. I'm just lightly putting some, some more lights in here. Just creating a little bit of interest. I want to be careful about putting too much of this up here because I don't want to draw my eye, draw the eye away from the other parts. Now, once this is dry, I'm going to um, take a photograph and I'll post it so you see the final result. Um, but I may have some more parts. I may need some more grass. And these sea oats are at a distance and they don't need to be too detailed to begin with. But there are a few little touches that I can put on them. So for now, um, this is it. I hope you've learned something. Um, and before I go, let me put those little touches of white I mentioned on my seagulls. And always touch your palette over here. In this case, I think I touched it too much. I got all the white off of it.
really wasn't a very good idea anyway. So I'm going to let that be that. 